Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this FebSmart 2 port USB 3.1 Gen 2 PCIe expansion card. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this has a USB type A and a USB C port on it. It supports USB 3.1 Gen 2, which goes up to 10 gigabit per second max. And this has a max of 16 gigabits per second for the two ports. So let's get this open. Now I'll be testing this in Windows, but this is compatible with some Mac models. So refer to the Amazon description for that. Or operating systems. The Mac models will have to have PCIe expansion, obviously. So it would be the Mac Pro models. So let's take a look at the card. So here we have the card. We have the A and the C port. Now this does not have internal headers for either of the ports. This comes with the full height and half height adapters. We have screws here, comes with an optical drive for drivers. And here we have a manual. Let's take a quick look at it. So this shows instructions for three models. We have the one in the middle. They have a model with two USB-A and a model with two USB type C. We have the model with one of each. And this talks about the compatible systems. You can see that certain versions of Mac OS are supported with the exception of 10.11. This is supported on Windows and Linux. So this talks about how to add it. This talks about finding the device in the Windows System Device Manager, installing the driver on PCs. Here's some frequently asked questions. You can pause and read through those. So let me get my PC over here and we'll get this installed. Okay, so here I have my PC. Let me get the cover off here. Hopefully that will get rid of some of the glare. So this is an ASRock B550 Phantom Gaming 4 motherboard. So I need an open slot. We have one right here. Now I have disconnected the power from this and every PC is going to be a little different for doing an upgrade like this. So on mine, I want to loosen these screws here. I'll pull this up. I'll just tighten that side back down for a second. I'm going to position the card in here. So I want to put it in this slot. So I'll remove this screw here. Now I can insert the card. Now as I'm working on this, I'm constantly touching the case to ground myself. So my body is at the same potential as the chassis of the PC. So I have some wires in here for a Wi-Fi card. Let me make sure those are kind of out of the way. So I'm going to slide this card in. Make sure it lines up with the slot and I'll press it in. Okay, now I'm going to replace that screw. Now you don't want to force anything here. It should fit easily. And I'll close this up. So here we can see the card installed on the PC. We have the USB Type-C and the USB-A port. So I'll get the cover put back on and I'll get this booted up and we'll test it out. Okay, I have my Windows desktop booted. So I'll go to the device manager and we'll go to Universal Serial Bus Controllers. And here we see the AS Media USB 3.1 Extensible Host Controller. So I haven't done anything. It installed the driver automatically. So now let's test this. So I have this SciVisions drive and this was provided to me by SciVisions for a previous video, but they have no association with this video. And I have two cords for this. I have a USB-A cord and a USB Type-C cord. So first I'll try the USB-A cord. I'll plug this in the back of the computer. So my computer found the drive. Now this card can output five volts at three amps for each port. So let's run a speed test on this. So I'll open up Crystal Disk Mark. So I'll start the test. Now I know this drive can support high speeds. We'll see how fast this interface is. Okay, the test is complete. So the fastest speed we got on this was the right speed at 1014 megabytes per second. So to turn megabytes to megabits, you take it times eight. So we got over 8,000 megabits or a little over eight gigabytes per second. So the interface caps out at 10 gigabits per second. So this is what I would expect out of this, but it is showing that we're getting over regular USB 3.0 speeds. So I'll eject this and then I'll connect it up with the USB-C interface. We should see similar performance out of it. Okay, so the drive has come up with the USB-C interface. It's still selected in Crystal Disk Mark. I'll hit All. Well, those are interesting results. We got USB 3.0 speeds here. I'm going to disconnect it and I'm going to try a different cable.
Okay, so the test is completed. Switching out that cable fixed the problem. And here you can see we got near similar results to what we got with the USB-A cable. So this is showing we're getting the USB 3.1 Gen 2 speeds out of both ports. Now these were run at separate times. According to the Amazon page, the max speed between the both ports is 16 gigabits per second. So let me unmount this real quick. I do want to explain, this is the SciVisions drive, and this is the cord that came with it, and I was not using the cord that came with it, I was using another USB-C cord I had, and for some reason that gave us a slow speed, so I switched to the SciVisions cord, and that's how we got the faster speeds. So if you're getting slow speeds, try changing out your cord. So that was the FebSmart 2-port USB 3.1 Gen 2 expansion card with USB-A and USB-C. If you're looking to add a USB-C port to your older PC, I think this is a great option. Now this also has a USB-A port, but most PC towers are going to have lots of USB-A ports. But this USB-A port is likely faster than the USB-A ports on your PC if you have an older PC. But this was very easy to install, and this will allow your older PC to connect up with faster external drives, network cards, and such. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.